Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. With the recent release of the Android O Preview Edition, is Android becoming the next iPhone? Now, what I mean by that is that it's no secret that Google and many other Android manufacturers like Samsung, all of them want to be like Apple. Because of the simple fact that Apple is the most profitable company in the world, and so, especially when it comes to mobile devices, and they also control their entire ecosystem vertically from top to bottom. And so with Android, as you know, it is an open source project, which means that the, the source code is freely available to any manufacturer who actually wants to use it. But Google um, can really controls Android because they are the one that releases all the base versions. Now, of course, each one of these manufacturers could make their own modifications. But at the end of the day, you know, Google controls Android. I mean, even though it is open source. So with that being said, if you notice, especially with the Google Pixel line, each and each iteration of Android becomes more streamlined, it becomes more controlled, and it becomes less customizable. And all of these things really remind me of the whole model that Apple actually uses, okay? Because that's how they work and operate. Now, in some cases, people might be okay with that, you know, because, you know, there's a lot of uniformity. But in another case, you kind of lose a lot of what Android was known for. You think about when Android first came out, the main differentiator between that and Apple's um, iPhone is the fact that you did have the freedom to customize your experience. You know, you had a lot of additional features like a micro SD card expansion, which less and less Android phones have that. And in the Google Pixel and before Nexus devices, those were non-existent. And so as Android keeps maturing, keeps growing, I really feel that you are going to get a very vanilla experience no matter what Android phone that you use and you're going to lose a lot of those features. You know, like even for myself, before I used to really flash my uh, Android phones, you know, with custom ROMs and then big communities like Cyanogen Mod, they really no longer exist. And so the whole modding community uh, is already pretty much gone for Android. And then as they release more and more versions with tighter, tighter controls and requirements, there really would be pretty much no customization available for Android. So that's why I really feel like Google's Android is becoming the next iPhone. And for better or worse, that's really where they're heading. You know, uh, unfortunately, you know, even if you were able to develop your own version of Android, at the end of the day, you're going to want the newest version. And uh, that is controlled by Android. So if you had any thoughts on this, you know, the whole Android... Uh, iPhones or even your own experiences um, flashing ROMs be sure to leave them in the comments area below and as always if you did get a lot of value out of these videos you can leave a like and subscribe and if you want to support my channel further you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors all that information is in the description area as well thanks for watching I'll see you on another episode thanks for checking out this episode and as always if you like these videos be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.